by this time we know that physical quantities are of two types one is fundamental physical quantities and another one is derived physical quantities we know fundamental physical quantities are nothing but length mass and time as per the mks system of course si system is having other fundamental quantities like temperature which is measured in uh, kelvin intensity measured in candela quantity of matter measured in mole and uh, current measured in ampere anyway the other physical quantities that what we say are called derived physical quantities we know derived physical quantities are obtained by making manipulation with the fundamental physical quantities as per the requirement of the given scenario so derived physical quantities are simply dependent of fundamental physical quantities say for example you want to derive density we know density is defined as mass per unit volume if i have taken a cube volume could have been written like something like length cube so here mass is a fundamental quantity length is a fundamental quantity raised to a power 3 so density can be expressed in terms of fundamental quantities as ml power minus 3 this kind of an expression is called a dimensional formula so dimensional formula is simply representation of a physical quantity in terms of fundamental quantities the powers to which the fundamental quantities are raised are called something like dimensions so if you look at the dimensional formula of the density i have expressed it like mass of course power 1 length power minus 3 this ml power minus 3 without any time dimensions that means time power 0 could be called as a dimensional formula for a physical quantity density the power of the mass is 1 the length of the the power of the length is minus 3 these are called dimensions so dimensional formula is simply representation of a physical quantity in terms of fundamental quantities so we can try writing dimensional formulas for different physical quantities say for example we want to write what's the dimensional formula of acceleration we know acceleration is defined as rate of change of velocity so i can write it like velocity by time i know further velocity can be expressed as rate of change of displacement so i can write velocity as displacement by time there is one more time in the denominator together it becomes time square displacement is nothing but length time is nothing but a physical quantity which is a fundamental physical quantity dimensionally displacement is expressed with capital l as length time is expressed as capital t so it has a dimensional formula of lt power minus 2 that's again representation of a physical quantity acceleration in terms of fundamental quantities like length time and mass say for example you want to write a dimensional formula of force we know the formula f equal to ma m is nothing but a fundamental quantity represented with capital m acceleration is nothing but velocity by time rate of change of velocity velocity can be further expressed as length by time there is one more time in the denominator so the dimensional formula of the force is ml t power minus 2 this way we can write dimensional formula of any physical quantity in the other sense simply we are expressing a physical quantity particularly derived physical quantity in terms of fundamental quantities this kind of expression is called a dimensional formula let us consider some another uh, example like say kinetic energy we know kinetic energy of a body is dependent of velocity of the body it is the energy possessed by the body due to its motion due to its velocity its value is half mv square half is a number 
which cannot be expressed in terms of length, mass and time. It's not having any dimensions. Numbers cannot have any dimensions. Mass, capital M. Velocity, nothing but rate of change of displacement L by T. Whole square is there. So it has a dimensional formula of ml square t power minus 2. Here the mass is having a power of 1, length is having a power of 2, time is having a power of minus 2. These are called dimensions. So dimensional formula is nothing but a representation of a physical quantity in terms of fundamental quantities. Lengths are the I mean the dimensions are the powers to which this fundamental quantities like length, mass and time are raised so that we can obtain a derived physical quantity. So dimensional formulas helps us in understanding the derived physical quantities in terms of the fundamental quantities. Fine, we will see you back in the next video. Thank you.